All right, so before I get this video started, you guys, um, I some of you guys might have missed episode number nine, which was the NBA draft, and you guys can probably see that it's not on YouTube anymore. It's because I accidentally deleted it, and, you know, I know that about 3,000 of you guys saw it, and the video was actually doing really, really good. It actually pissed me off because YouTube, they don't have a restore thing, which I think is kind of crazy because they are a video sharing website. Somebody can easily accidentally delete it. But yo, I accidentally deleted that episode, so that really, really sucks, and it sucks because that video was doing really, really well, but I just thought I'd let you guys know. Now, this is free agency. I actually recorded this last night before everything happened, so other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and yo, we're just gonna keep on moving, man, because most people have already seen it. What is good YouTube? It's your boy Legendary EA and we are back here for episode number 10 of the New York Knicks My GM and as you guys can see from the title in this episode we're going to be taking on the rest of this offseason and most importantly free agency. So if you guys enjoyed this series and want to see more of it, make sure you go ahead and like up this video, smash that like button, let's get 200 likes for episode number 11 and you guys already know that in episode 11 it's probably going to be a game. But other than that, you guys, in the last episode, we did go through the NBA draft. Uh, we did make a trade. Some people said I gave up too much for the trade. I kind of did. Just a little bit to trade up to pick six and get RJ Barrett. And we traded, I believe, the Mavericks pick, which was top 10 protected. The Mavericks just got another top. I think they were the third pick, so I, I believe that that pick wasn't going to be much. And we traded away the Golden State pick and a few seconds along with our eighth pick. And we traded up to uh, pick six, and we picked up RJ Bear, who was the best player in the draft. So let me know how you guys think about that move. And we also picked up Jalen Hudson in the second round. So not much there. And obviously, uh, Joakim Noah and Cordelly are problems, but I probably would just stick with them just because, um, just because, uh, truth be told, um, <clears throat> they only have one more year on, on their contract. So me getting rid of them is kind of pointless. So, I might as well hold on to them and make a huge free agency signing next offseason. <clears throat> but, yo, know, other than that, in the episode, I also asked you guys who I should sign in free agency. A lot of people want me to get Jello. So, if Jello was there, I'm, I'm, I am going to sign him to a minimum deal and send him to the G League. Uh, and I also asked you guys about Julius Randle. Not much people responded about the whole Julius Randle thing, but one person did. I think one or two did. And they both said to pick up Julius Randle and... The reason why I think that's realistic is because I think we I think we all pretty much understand that he's not part of their future. Like I I think we all know that uh, the Lakers have been trying to trade Julius Randle, and they also have Kyle Kuzma, who's a year younger, and who I believe they think is actually the future of their team. So we are gonna be going after Julius Randle unless they decide to re-sign him in the game. But I do believe that he is gonna be there. Uh, so we can go after him. They also got Moses Brown now. So now that so now they're not even gonna be playing him at center. So I mean that is something to actually look at. We actually probably could have gotten Moses Brown, but I actually prefer this because if we pick up Julius Randle, I am gonna move Chris Stops to center. Uh, even though Randle could could play center, I am gonna move Chris Stops to center and then start Randle at power forward. And it, it it just works out because next season I really want to make the playoffs. Like. I really, really, really want to be a really good team. But other than that, you guys, let's get straight into this thing. Obviously, I'm not bringing back Cantor. And actually, before I do anything, Thomas Bryant. I do want to bring back Thomas Bryant. I'm, yeah, and he goes all the way up to a 76. So, because he, now he has his contract. So, we definitely want to do that. Obviously, Anthony Sims is coming back. We got, we got a squad. Next season, we will definitely be able to compete. But obviously, Cantor, there's a reason why I signed him to basically a one-year deal. I don't want the man back. I really appreciate everything he did sticking up for, like, Frank against Braun. Oh, that was cool. Uh, obviously, we're bringing back Frank. We're bringing back Trey Burke. We're going to be bringing back Ike. We have so many bigs on this team. And, of course, Diallo, even though he wants to dip. Lance Thomas and Cantor, it's been real. Y'all got to go. So, we go ahead and we bring those guys back. Qualifying offer, Ron Baker, I guess, even though we might be renouncing it, to be real with you. All right, so looking at this, um, Kyrie Irving is kind of realistic, but honestly, the Celtics better better hang on to that, like, to be real with you. Also, Kemba Walker kind of is, 
But I don't think that we have enough caps to even sign him. Yeah, we we honestly don't. Let me actually see. I, I, I know Kemba Walker is real, but I do kind of want to struggle. So I'm not trying to, like, go out there and sign a superstar. So I'm not going to be going after Kemba Walker. I, I mean, I, obviously, I think he fits in. And we don't have enough money. Even if we were, like, even Cantor's rights, renouncing that, we still don't have enough money. So, yeah, we still don't. We only have $13 million to really offer. So... Yeah, Ron Baker, I'd, I'd like to bring him back. But let's just go ahead and let's see who we can actually get. First things first, let's go and find Jello. I see Isaac. Isaac Bonga is here. Now, I don't know if this move is realistic or not, but he's chilling after spending that one year in Europe. So I'm going to sign him for two years. Let's throw him an offer. Yo, I, that's, yeah, hey, 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 man. If somebody's chilling in free agency, ain't got no job, 19 years old, I'm going to offer them a contract. And that's just facts, all right? That is just facts. So next up, let's go ahead and let's offer, let's offer LiAngelo. Look, fam, that's what I'm looking to offer you. Nothing more. <laughs> that's literally it. Actually, all right, I'll, I'll get him later on because if, if he does develop into something good, I want to make sure that I bring him back. Small forward, we're not, we're not bringing back Melo. But let's go ahead and let's offer Julius Randle. He has no offer, so the Lakers matched him last year because they had to. Now, who are they looking at right now? Honestly, I don't care. Let's just go ahead and let's offer Randle. All right, for Randle, I'm not going to be giving him. Oh, no, no, no. I almost offered Portis. Hex, all right. So, with Julius Randle, what I'm looking to offer him is something... Look, man, at the end of the day, we, we are his only offer. So, I am going to try to finesse this, all right? I'm looking to give him around 1850 two years. That's what I'm looking at. And, no, he actually... He takes our offer. <laughs> he, he Yo, that's honestly a good deal, too, because he's 24. He can definitely develop. We have him for two seasons with a team option on the third. So if he's garbage for two seasons here, we can trade him. And this is actually and this is actually a pretty easy movable contract. But after day one. All right. Oh, this is a L. Bruh. I will not all of y'all. I'm not going to even lie. All right. We can sign all of them. So on day one of the moratorium period, we are going to be signing Julius Randle, Leandro Ball, and Isaac Bonga. We are renouncing Ron Baker. I know a lot of Knicks fans. I know a lot of Knicks fans like him, but I think we all knew he wasn't going to be here long term. Even though he was great for us, Swaggy P, he's he's out of here too. Actually, I, I could bring him back, but I'm not. <laughs> all right. So we get all of those guys. Now, let's see if there's any vets that we would like to get. All right, some of these vets, honestly, with those signings, we, we'll be good at every single position. Shooting guard is, our shooting guard position is stacked. Our center position is almost stacked. Um, I'm just going to get some more young guys, just to be real with you. I'm just going to get some more young guys. Um, Let me see. Let's see who's out here. Let's see who is out here. Jalen Brunson is here. I'd like to get him to be real. That'd be lit. Hmm. Do I get him or Rollins? We already have a lot of shooting guards, so I do want to stack up at that point guard position. So Jalen Brunson from Villanova. I'd like to get you. I already know. Uh, how are you going to decline this, B? Do, do do you have do you, do you have a job to even be declining that like? <laughs> like, like that's that's honestly wild. Oh yeah, if you guys missed my video from yesterday where I did talk about some of the most underrated players in the 2018 NBA draft, make sure you go ahead and check that out, man. Make sure you go ahead and check out that video. Um, is there anybody else here that I want to take a look at? Not really. Honestly, after that, I'm honestly good. All right, so we're gonna be bringing in Isaac Bonga, Leandro Ball, Julius Randle, and Jalen Brunson, and honestly. That's all that we need. Like, nothing else. They really don't want us to, like, to, like sign Jello. 
All right, let's call this thing a day. So we go ahead and we bring all of those guys in. Let me know which guys grade our free agency. I think that's definitely a W. All right, I think that that's definitely a W. But other than that, um, we have nobody else here. Now, Chris Stops, he is healthy now. I'm going to move him to center. Oh, I, I'm, I'm going to hold off on that. But you guys already know, or I can move you to center. It doesn't really matter. But even though I think Chris Stops is a way better center, he's 7'3". He's 7'3". And this team looks like it's about to be OP next season. Now, I, obviously, I, I don't think that we can beat, like, some of those some of those top-tier teams. But I do see us as a mid-tier Eastern Conference team. Definitely a top-15 team in the NBA. Let me know what you guys think about that. But let's go ahead and let's finish up free agency. And maybe we can get some gameplay. Maybe we can hop in and get some gameplay. So, free agency, we are done with that. We secured the bag. Um, the Kings bring in Paul Millsap. All that good stuff. Matter of fact... Let me show you guys all of the signings. Uh, Nerland signs with, with the Jazz. Cantor goes to the Lakers on, on a one-year deal. Um, Dwight Howard to the Mavericks. Tobias Harris to the Lakers as well. So, so the Lakers capitalized on that money. They picked up Tobias Harris uh, and Cantor. The Bulls re-signed uh, Bobby Portis. Let's see if there's anything crazy. The Rockets get Aaron Holiday. Warriors re-signed them. Dallas gets Deontay Davis. Right, is there anything crazy, though? Let's see if there's anything crazy. Nothing crazy so far. <clears throat> Moutier is back on the Lakers. The Lakers opened up the, the major. The Lakers signed Emmanuel Moutier. I gave him to the Warriors. So, I don't get why they, they even did that. But, but, okay. But, okay, yeah. If you guys want to take a look at any of these, you guys can just go ahead and do it. Honestly, there's nothing even crazy here. I think most of those were actually L's. Towns is back on the on, on the Wolves. Other than the Kings signing Paul Millsap, most of these are kind of like the the kind of trash. To be real, she most of these are kind of trash. Yeah, I'm 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 good. I'm good. Player progression: Kristaps goes up by one. Porter goes up by five. Frank goes up by four. Anthony Simmons is a 78, and now he has seven badges. That's what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys earlier. He didn't have badges, but, but something that I actually learned, whenever you send them to, like, the G League, they come back cold. So now he has some badges. Bonga goes up by six as he spent one season overseas. Trey Burke is up one. Thomas Bryant is up six at a 75. Ike is up four. Yo, this team is about to be nice. This team is about to be nice. Now, Summer League, go ahead and fill that automatically. I don't care. I just want to check out what the team is doing up against Cleveland. Real quick, I do want to get, I do want to kind of play the season opener in this game, but let's just see how this team does in the summer league. All right. Um, honestly, though, let's just get to the actual like, like the end part of this thing. Just, just adjust it. All right. What do we do against the Knicks? Thirty in the first quarter. Get them up out of here, bro. Send them back home. RJ Barrett, he's not, he's not like balling out, but like. Bonga definitely is. Yo, but having Anthony Simmons back, I don't know what I want to do, you guys. To be to be real with you, like, I really don't know what to, like, do. Because Frank, he was a number, like, seven pick, eight pick, whatever. But Anthony Simmons can score. I think that for the start of this season, we're going to be bringing Simmons off the bench as a six man. And then if he continues to, like, ball out, we might have to switch him with Frank because Frank does provide defense when, whenever I'm simming. So that does come in handy every, every once in a while. Um, yeah. But are we in the tournament? Okay, whatever. Let's just go ahead and let's send this entire thing. <clears throat> All right, and Dallas wins. All right, that's that's really whatever. Uh, let's just get on to it. All right. Um, I, I got to load in the 2020 draft class. If you guys didn't know, I, I am using... The uh, Jack Move draft class. The reason why, even though the players are kind of better, and I don't know why he has 59 year olds in, in this roster. The only reason I use it is because he literally has every single prospect. And the, the rest of them leave prospects off or only do like the top 20 players. And then it's all and then it's all created players. And I just don't like that. I, I'd rather just have I, I would rather just have a few flaws in the roster, but at least have everybody there. But with this, let's see who wins it in the 2021. I know James Wiseman is in this class. So is Melo. And, of course, the USA, you know, balls out. Qu Quentin Grimes, Trey Jones. There you go, Melo. 
He only had five points, 20%. That's, that's tough. All right, so it's training camps. Training camps. Untapped potential. RJ Barrett is already going to be a really high potential. So sending him there is honestly pointless. Sending Michael Porter there is pointless. Sending Curtis Upster is honestly pointless. I could use it on Julius Randle, but for right now, Anthony Simmons, I could actually check his, his, his potential. So I, I don't need to even do that. Um... All right, what's Anthony Simmons' potential, since this is, like, being difficult? But he, he's a 78, so that's definitely that'd be for us. He's an 86. Um, that's cool That that's cool for right now. Um, what, what I am going to do is use the combo guard on Simmons, though, <clears throat> just so that he can get his passing up. Perimeter defense on Michael Porter Jr. I want to use athleticism on Chris Stops or, or something so that he stopped getting hurt. But, all right, let's see. Frank Nielakina, perimeter shooting. That's something that needs to happen. All right, so we used all of those. Let's get straight into the season. I have 16 players. One got to go. Who's getting waived? Courtney Lee. Because no one might actually play. Courtney Lee is not playing. And that's just facts. And he only has one year left, so I might as well, I might as well cut him down. Like, to be real with you, he's not, he's, he's not about to play. But for this season, all right, this is what they want the lineup to actually be. Chris Stops is going to center, though, and he should stay the same. Yeah, he stays the exact same. Let's make sure that secondary position is power forward, and then we'll go ahead and handle that. Come on. But, yo, Anthony Simmons, he got badges. I think before he had, like, one badge. Now he has seven, so that definitely is a W. All right, matter of fact, I am going to go ahead and adjust this lineup. Give me one second, and I'll show you guys what the lineup is going to be looking like. All right, so this is going to be our lineup for this season. It's going to be Frank Nielakina as our starting point guard. RJ Barris playing 31 minutes as our starting shooting guard. Michael Porter is playing 36. Randall is starting at power four, playing 27. KP is playing 38, and I'm going to pray that he don't get hurt. Uh, then we got Anthony Simmons as our sixth man with 25 minutes. Isaac Bongo with 20. Thomas Bryant at, uh, playing 14. Di Diallo playing 12, and Trey Burke kind of gets the short seat because he is kind of a placeholder. And honestly, if I'm being real with you, Trey Burke shouldn't be getting minutes because, like, all of the positions that, that we have, it should be this guy. I'm being, I'm being dead ass. Like, it really should be this guy. It just makes it hard because I do want to play Trey Burke some minutes, but, man, this is difficult. I, I can take one from you. That's that's about the best I, I can do. And that's even like a stretch, to be real with you. And that's even kind of a stretch. But right now, it does say that this team still is rebuilding. Um, uh, well, Let's see the standings. Where are they ranking us at? All right, so NBA.com says that we are 13. 2K Sports said that we are 13. And Mark Spears said that we are 12. So I personally think that this team is going to be really, really good. You guys let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. But yeah, you guys, I think that I think that this team, I think that this team is actually. I think that this team is definitely gonna be good. Uh this I have been I have been recording for almost 20 minutes, so I am gonna save the season opener for tomorrow unless you guys get those likes immediately if you guys get 200 likes within the next three hours i will just go ahead and upload a third video of the day so yo if you guys enjoyed this series like i said like up this video let me know how you guys think we did in free agency we picked julius randall bonga uh we also picked up oh yeah let me show you guys uh we we, we also got Le leangelo who's in the uh, g league J jalen brunson who's in the g league and yeah, that's honestly about it. You guys already know all of our draft picks. Make sure you go ahead and like this video, hit the subscribe button, and check out the second channel. As soon as it gets a thousand subs, I will be uploading on that channel as well. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace, y'all.